Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily the day after the night before. Terrible drubbing at uh, at Chelsea. Obviously, Everton losing 6 0. Um, yeah, the timing couldn't be any worse, could it? With a huge week next week, or certainly starting on Sunday, with uh, obviously Everton playing three massive home games and then. Then a massive away game of Luton, then another massive home game against Sheffield United, so it couldn't have been any worse. Uh, here are Sean Dyche's thoughts on that performance. It's certainly miles off where we want to be. That's a sh without a shadow of a doubt. There's no excuses for that. Yeah, miles off the mark. Um, miles away from where we've been. Um, we certainly don't want to revisit that. It's a stark reminder if you don't do the basics well. Um, an odd... Odd game in the sense that the, the game plan we worked on started correctly. You know, we should score early. We should have a chance to take the game on. And um, we can see when that can happen. But the goals are alarmingly poor. You know, the the hard yards that it takes, ta just simple tackling, just getting a tackling, reading the play, anticipating the game. All the basic principles were just out the window in the first half, particularly. Um, and you can't do that, you know, you can't do that place like that. It is unusual, I will say that, defensively that is. We know we've had trouble with scoring goals, that's obvious. But defensively that is a, a mile off where we've been. I think the last time we were like that was Villa, um, when we were miles off. And today, collective downtime, perfect storm, we get injuries as well. Um, just, a, just a horrid night without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, so there you go, obviously. Sean Dyche, not, not happy, but... You know he he uh, he sends the players out there to do a job, and and obviously he expects uh, he expects a much better performance from the players. Uh, he was also asked about the tactics. Here's his reply to that. Well, the tactics started right. We should score in the first minute or two minutes or whatever it was. So, you know, the delivery attacks. Everyone talks about attacks and delivery. You know, a lot of managers get it right. You know, but you've got to go and deliver it. You can't just wait for it to happen. It looked like too many. Like you can't have a collective down like, like that. You, I thought Dwight and Miko first half stuck at it. The rest, I thought, were miles off. I, I, I told him at half time, made some changes, got absolutely miles off. I mean, you know, not even close to where we we expect, and including what I expect. So you had a case of. Maybe players not doing what they were asked to do, and that may have led to um, James Garner and Amadou Onana being pulled off at half time. Um, if players aren't doing the job they're being told to do, then obviously that's going to cause problems. But the tactics in the first place, I thought we made it a basketball game early on, and that suited Chelsea. It didn't really suit Everton, to be honest. So. Um, obviously, Sean Dyche has got to look himself from that point of view because going to a team that do score goals against the team who don't score goals is only ever going to be one winner if you make the game really open, and that's what we did. You know, bar that early chance we had from from Beto. Um, so it was a very, very difficult night that we have to put behind us. But unfortunately, coming off the back of that as well, we've picked up some some injuries um, from the game last night. Seamus Coleman um, got a groin injury, he went off at half time. Sean Dice said he didn't know yet um, the 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 severity of that injury. Um, Jared Branthwaite went off as well. They uh, said that it is minor and they'll have to wait and see on that. And Nathan Patterson, it's a hamstring injury, and Sean Dyche said it's, it was actually it's a more serious injury. So hopefully all three of those players have speedy returns. Hopefully it's not too serious uh, for Nathan Patterson, knowing that he has the Euros at the end of the season as well. It's been a has been a great season for him. Um, but let's hope that all three can get back as quick as possible. With there's uh, so many games coming up, coming up quick, quick and. Uh, Quick and in quick succession. So yeah, not not a great night. Tarkowski getting his ninth booking of the season as well. Not great. Another play missing last night was a Zisagana gay. Um he'd felt an injury um in the, on the morning of the game. And there's um fresh doubts today as well that he will get a, a, a new contract at the end of the season and it looks like he could be um, surplus the requirements with him being a big earner and Everton basically being able to um, not fulfil uh, a new contract for him with a player of his age. So 
Uh, he's still one of our best players, and I thought he was massively missed last night. And that would be sad if we couldn't uh, if we couldn't keep him at the club. His experience is is massively important, and he's someone out who goes out and does does a good job for us. So, um, yeah, very very sad. And Delhi, who was in the Sky Sports Monday Night Football Studio, uh, also revealed that he would not be available for the rest of the season also. Um, he did say that he would be open to staying at Everton next season, but I just can't see how we could keep a player who hasn't played at all for us this season, um, has had his injury problems and obviously other, in, other problems while he's been an Everton player. Um, absolutely just a, another terrible situation of Everton's making, giving someone... Uh, the length of contract and putting them on such high wages and sadly it hasn't worked as it? it really has not worked for Delhi and it looks like he'll probably be leaving Everton at the end of the season um yeah also last night it was revealed quite late on that 777 had been granted an extension by MSP uh yesterday's deadline was for 777 to repay the debt, or certainly Everton to repay the debt. I mean, it's crazy that someone who hasn't doesn't own the club. We're talking in terms of them repaying an extension, but they uh, repaying um, a a loan that is owed on the stadium, and it's it's seen as one of the four pillars for them to get ownership of the club. They've been granted an extension. We don't know how long that extension is, but um, I'm sure it's in everyone's best interests that uh, it, is, it is extended so that hopefully they can pay it and we can we that will be part of them getting the club bought because let's be honest we just need everything sorted out as soon as possible the club at the moment is just an absolute it's just an absolute fire isn't it um yeah it's in such a nobody knows what's going on the football on the pitch is, is woeful um and it really is not a nice time to be an Evertonian, is it, at all? So, triple seven given that extension last night by MSP. There you go. Um, what a happy Tuesday. <laughs> there you go. Make sure you check out the final word with me and John on the game. That is available right now. Uh, thanks for watching. For more great videos, crucial day live videos, come and join us on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.